Hello everybody, it's your boy N here. I'm coming at you guys with another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm going to be going on over why you do not need Arcane Energize and how to get basically infinite energy without Arcane Energize. So without further ado guys, let's get right on into today's video. Arcane Energize is an Arcane, which on rank 5, you have a 60% chance to replenish 150 energy to yourself and to allies within 15 meters and it's got a 15 second cooldown. Now... I don't even need to explain why Arcane Energize is so good, but let's run on into a mission and I'm going to show you what Arcane Energize does practically. So guys, as you can see here, we are just running a mission in the void, steel path of course, and whenever we do get an energy drop, I will show you what happens when you pick it up, because this is the magic of Arcane Energize. So as you guys could see there, I just picked up an energy orb and in the middle of my screen it said 175 energy. Now again, as you guys can see, if you were to just, you know, use Arcane Energize generally, Arcane Energize is gonna give you a lot of energy back very quickly. With this now, as you can see, I'm basically just spamming abilities because why not? And then I don't have to worry about energy at all because I know as soon as you kill an enemy just like that You get a ton of energy again over there energy is just procking even harder and giving me 250 energy So guys, let me show you why you don't need this and let me show you how to replace it now with the price of arcane energize being insanely high there is quite literally people in chat who will accept arcane energize as payment this is a pretty big indicator as to how steep Arcane Energize has really gone over the last few years. Even if we do head on over to Warframe Market and type in Arcane Energize, as you guys can see here, once it loads, 2.55k for Arcane Energize, which is insane. Even a single Arcane Energize goes for over 100 plat now. So, you can see this is definitely not viable for new players or just players in general. This is insane pricing. So, let me show you now how to completely replace Arcane Energize that you will literally never need this on your builds again. So, let's get right on into that. The best way around Arcane Energize is going to be one mod and one ability. Now the Warframe you are going to need to subsume is going to be the Prime Big Boy and that is Grendel. Now when you subsume Grendel you get an ability called Nourish. So Nourish is an ability which will basically give you a ton of viral and this will give you an energy source too. And these buffs can extend to squad mates, they can extend to your pets, or your companions, they can extend onto everything. So whenever you get killed there is a significantly higher chance of it dropping energy and that is going to be useful so let's go back on over to hydroid on my second config for hydroid i've got nourish on here taking over the first ability the first ability on hydroid does give viral anyways so i feel like just replacing it with nourish is probably the best thing to do now Along with Nourish, that is going to be the one ability we're going to use. The one mod we're going to pair this up with is going to be Equilibrium. Health pickups give 110% energy and energy pickups give 110% health. Now, I don't need to give you a massive demonstration on this because you're already going to know this is very, very good. So, let's run into Steel Path again and I'm going to show you what this does with just nourish and equilibrium so people were back up in mo in the void now the way we are going to do this is first of all we're just going to press nourish and then we're just going to start getting kills now what this is going to do is quite literally just there you go nourish is activated and now from here as long as you get kills you can see my energy just going absolutely crazy and restoring itself immediately i I don't know why I went down there, but oh wait, it's because I'm not shield gating, my bad. Yeah, but as long as you've got nourish on, as you guys can see here, you can basically just go around and destroy and just kill enemies. Because the thing is, nourish will extend to your squad mates, so you'll get nourish on your pet, you'll get nourish on your everyone else in the squad, as long as you are 
within their range whilst you cast the ability and it's just generally a good thing to do because as you guys can see here i'm literally spamming my abilities and i'm not having any energy problems at all now does this scale you might ask yes this infinitely scales all the way up to level cap so if you want to run equilibrium and nourish to level cap instead of arcane energize i strongly recommend doing so when it does come to level capping there are three specific mods that i think you are going to want to be running on basically any level cap config the first mod you're going to want to always run is of course going to be equilibrium along with nourish for basically infinite energy the next mod you're going to want to run is going to be Rolling Guard, just as a emergency save me type of card. It is very, very useful, I have to admit. And the last mod is going to have to be Vigorous Swap. This is just purely for your weapons. If you like using your primary or secondary, this will give you a big, big kick of damage, which is definitely useful at the higher levels. But as you guys can see here, I can quite literally get away with spamming 4, 3, 1, 2... And as soon as I get a single kill or something like that from here off an enemy, my energy just goes shooting back up to two, three hundred. You can see Equilibrium doing its bit. It's just a significant uh, change from Energize. And given the price of Arcane Energize and the price of Equilibrium, I do strongly, strongly recommend replacing energize with equilibrium and with nourish even if you were to spend platinum on grendel in order to get grendel himself 375 plat is still nowhere near 3000 plat almost or 2.5 thousand plat and it 2500 plat is not a small amount either that could be someone's entire earning in game or that can just be something that someone is not willing to spend on a single arcane and that is completely okay. That is justified. I've quite literally proven that despite doing all this, you do not need Arcane Energize in the slightest to survive and basically have infinite energy. Now, this is a mechanic within this game that I believe is not ever going to get nerfed or replaced or anything like that. With the Abyss of Degath update, they definitely brought Equilibrium back to life and made it a vi much more viable option. And pairing it up with Nourish makes it an even, even more viable option. Which is honestly great because they are bringing back a lot of good things and making the game significantly better. But this is basically it. Nourish is... Nourish and Equilibrium is your free Arcane Energize. So guys, that has been this video on Nourish and Equilibrium. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you did, do smash that like button. And if you want to see me break anything else, so just, you know, push this game to its limits. Please leave what you want to see in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to act upon that. But guys, like I said, that's been this video. Link to my Patreon and Discord server are also in the description. Please feel free to check them out. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!